Hey everybody, in this video, I am cleaning off the fruit that I purchased in the grocery haul. So I'm just washing all my fruit in my distilled vinegar and water um, spray that I make up. And I'm just gonna go through and get this fruit ready for the week. I hope that this video gives you all some motivation. Uh, no matter what your task is that you have to complete, if it's you know cutting up your produce, if it's cleaning your kitchen, whatever it is, I hope that watching this will just motivate you to get up and just go ahead and complete what you need to complete. I think the hardest thing is to get up on Sundays and prepare your items for the week, but it helps your work week out so much. And that's something that I'm personally working on. Just, you know, having everything ready and prepared, it really does make your week go so much smoother. So I really hope that just some of the shortcuts and some of the things that I share, you know, help. Just help motivate you to just get up. I know a lot of times I'm personally exhausted from the work week. The jobs, you know, the job can be very demanding. So, you know, you just want to relax. You don't want to <laughs> do anything. That's me. But, you know, it is best to get up, do what we need to do so that we will have. And <laughs> you see me and my daughter snacking on the pineapple is so hard to resist. I love pineapple. It tastes like candy to me. <laughs> but anyway, but yes, uh, you know, I hope that this just gives you some motivation to do what you need to do. And I appreciate everyone so much for watching. And I hope you're enjoying the content. I hope you all enjoy the Bible verse that I share in the beginning of the video. That's something that I want to start doing. I was putting my scriptures at the end, but, you know, I'm really personally working on keeping God first in every area of my life. And, you know, I just want to honor him in everything that I do. And I love that scripture. That is one of my favorite scriptures. Always be joyful. Always keep on praying. Because, you know, where we are in our lives, we may not be pleased where we are, but we have to make the best of where we are. And just always be thankful, always be joyful to him. And he will, he will work everything out. I am a witness. I'm not going to start preaching on this uh, video, but I hope that, you know, these scriptures just give you some encouragement. I am a follower and a true lover of Jesus Christ. And... So I choose to honor him in everything that I do. You know, I love fixing the fruit like this so, you know, my daughters can quickly access and myself, we can quickly access fruit and not be so tempted to go for junk food. You know, if you're craving something sweet, grab a piece of fruit. I'm also currently working to lose over 40 pounds and I have lost 10 pounds so far and I've been doing um, intermittent fasting and um, OMAD, which is one meal a day. and I've been incorporating fresh fruits and vegetables, cold pressed juices, healthy things that really give life to your body. So, um, yeah, I'm starting to really, truly meet the goal. I've been working out and I've actually grown to really love working out. So anyway, yeah, I think, you know, start with little steps and Oh yeah, that's some of the bad fruit that I pulled out of those strawberries. You really wanna examine your fruit. 
but yeah you know start by making sure you know you have as much fruit as you can so it can be accessible to you and your children and it really helps you with a sweet tooth it just helps you to have access to something that's healthy and not be tempted to grab something that is not healthy Also, I just want to add working up to one meal a day. That took me months. I started out intermittent fasting and eating starting at 11 in the morning. And then I eventually worked up after, you know, a month or so to one in the afternoon. And now I've been able to work as far as in the evening as 5 p.m. to eat my meal. So it's something I worked up to over a long period of time. It's not something I was able to do cold turkey. So, you know, it's very power, a lot of uh, very powerful benefits in fasting and um, not just spiritual, but physical, mental, so many benefits. All you have to do is on YouTube or Google and research uh, fasting um, and so many um, videos, so much information will come up to just let you know the benefits. Plus. Fasting is all throughout the Bible, and I believe it's for a reason. God put it in there for a reason, and there's so many healing benefits in fasting. Um, so I encourage you to look into it, research it, and, you know, check it out. I, I think this has really, truly helped me. And this is the finished view of the fruit in the refrigerator. So it's there and ready for us to eat. Thanks for watching.